Hi, Marcus De Maria here, and I wanted to share something really interesting with you here today because most people know our famous buffalo strategy for going sideways. So bulls go up, bears go down, but there's a third market movement, which is the buffalo market. But we also use the buffalo strategy for upwards and downwards as well. And I want to show you an example of this, although this is only slightly uh, going up but it still is a vertically rising buffalo stock. And what we see here, we can see the bounces, one bounce here, two bounce here, three bounce there. Now at that stage, it's a pattern because one doesn't mean anything, two could be a coincidence. But when you have three things, I just did this to back, three things, then uh, you know that there is something going on, it's a pattern. Now normally we get in on the fourth bounce but you can actually get in on the third as well with this strategy. I'm not gonna explain why on this particular uh, video, but that, that's basically what we teach. So um, now we're gonna get in with a stop order, meaning that it has to clear the bar that is touching the line that you have drawn. And as you see, this one here, the red one here, was the very, very first bar to touch the line. Then there was a green one. Now it, you might have been in at this point here, it's very likely that you would have been in at this point here and then it came down, now it's bounced again and it's going back up. Now what's important is, as ever, and this is what people get wrong, and I will keep repeating myself even if you're sick and tired of me doing it, every strategy has to have the right risk-reward ratio. And what we're looking here, just based on the kind of, this is the support line going up and the kind of a, um, a resistance line there, is depending on where we put our stop loss, you're looking at this being the risk that we're willing to take, which mustn't be more than 1% of your entire portfolio. And then this is the reward, that's the target. Now the beauty of a vertical as opposed to a horizontal, because when you've got a horizontal, you've really got a limit. Whereas if, when you have a vertical like this, what's the limit? Well, the limit is actually infinity not going to be infinity, but it's a lot more than the horizontal. That's why we love the vertical buffalo as well. And as we can see here, what we have, and the software does this all for you, which is absolutely fantastic. I have to always calculate it myself and, and stuff, but this software is brilliant because you can actually click on it and it will tell you, as it does here, that you've got a risk, this is the risk, that's the one, 1% 1 of your entire portfolio, reward ratio of three. What does that mean? You're risking one in order to make three. And that is the minimum that we would want. We would want four, five, six, seven, we would want three. And the biggest mistake that most people make is that they just get in on risk reward of one. So they'll risk one in order to make one, which is ridiculous because you'll never make money over time. In fact, most people, because they're so quick at taking their money, probably do a half. So they'll risk one in order to make a half. Or I think most people say, oh, well, I'll risk 5%, but they'll risk 5% to make 5%. That's a one-on-one -on -one risk reward ratio. So what we're looking for, and that's why our graduates are so successful, because they won't go into anything which is less than a one to three risk reward ratio, which means mathematically speaking, if you keep going, you have to make money over time. It's mathematics, you have to. And that is why our strategies, and this particular one, the Buffalo, is making people uh, such great rewards. So the risk-reward ratio, so what we'll do is we'll look at this, Owen's Corning here, I got in a couple of days ago, we'll see how this pans out over time. Now, we're either going to have a small loss, it's gonna be 1% of our entire portfolio, or we're gonna make what? 3% on our entire portfolio. There isn't anything in between, it's either or. Even if it goes sideways for a while, at some stage it's either going to come down or go up. So we're either going to risk one or make three. So my question to you is how many of you would love to play that game all day long? Uh, risk one to make three, risk one to make three, risk one to make three. I mean that's a game that everybody wants to play, isn't it? And that's what we do. So all you do is you need to learn how to do it and then practice until you've got it. And that's it, it's as simple as that. It is like driving a car. Really, really simple, um, but it's not easy. You have to learn how to do all of this and all of this. And all. Same thing here, learning how to do this. It's really simple. 
I mean, after a couple of months, people go, what is that it? And we go, well, yeah, that's it. Go, but to start off with, it seems like, you know, the first time you got into a car. So that's the Buffalo strategy. So let's, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep updating you on these trades um, after we've gotten into them and, uh, and uh, let you know how we got on. So I look forward to seeing you on the next few videos.